Hey, this is my cuisine art pizza dough recipe. So you're gonna need some flour, of course, and sugar, salt, kosher salt, olive oil, uh, pizza crust yeast, and a thermometer helps. I like to use a candy thermometer. Um, and some measuring things. So I've got three cups of flour in the cuisine art. And I didn't measure exactly. I was a little rough with the uh, measurements. I like to do like a tad bit less than three cups. And then we have a teaspoon and a half of Morton sea salt, sorry, kosher salt. So really just like a heaping teaspoon. And then we have a tablespoon of olive oil. And I like to just make a little hole in the dough and just pour about a tablespoon in there. And then you're gonna put this lid on and Blend that up. So I've also got some water boiling on the stove because I'm gonna get some hot water for the yeast. So you're gonna do a cup of hot water and you want this to be around 105 to 110 degrees. So I usually have to add some cold water to it. So I got my water to that sweet spot, really around 110 is ideal, um, but lower is better. You don't want to go higher. And you're going to dissolve a teaspoon and a half of sugar into the water, or one like heaping teaspoon. And then we're gonna open the pizza yeast packet and throw that in there. So that was one cup of water around 105 to 110 degrees. Dissolve a teaspoon and a half of sugar into that. And then throw the whole packet of yeast in there. So this yeast, oops, but you don't want the water to be too hot or it'll kill the yeast. <clears throat> so this water should get foamy on the top in a couple minutes. And what we're gonna do is when this is foamy on the top, we're gonna pour this in to our food processor. We're gonna take this little top part out and we're going to pour this into our food processor while it's running. While you're waiting for your yeast to um, liven up, you're going to take a bowl that will stick to cling wrap and you're going to get some cling wrap and some olive oil. Um, a glass baking bowl works really well for this. Um, mine are away right now so I'm just going to use this and you're going to pour some olive oil in your bowl and you're just going to swirl it around so there's olive oil coating the bottom sides. Okay so you can see how foamy this water got. So that means the yeast is alive and well. Okay this is my favorite part so now we're going to pour this in slowly while this runs and you're just going to watch it incorporate and once it has turned into like one big ball, you're going to actually let that keep going for 30 seconds. So that's going to knead the dough. So you definitely want to um, just be patient and we'll see how long this takes me. So this will make one 
large pizza, but I'm gonna um, cut it into three pieces and freeze two of them. And then if you're just making one large pizza, then you just put this whole dough ball in one huge bowl and you're gonna cover it with cling wrap and you're gonna let it sit for at least 45 minutes at room temperature. And that's gonna be enough time for it to rise. And then you can just pat it down and stretch it out and make pizza on it. Um, or you can put it in the fridge overnight for like eight hours or even longer um, to let it rise in the fridge. So yeah, so I'll cut this up. I can't find my dough cutter, but um, so I'm just gonna plop this. You're just gonna kind of gather all the pieces, like all the little pieces and stick it on the big one. If there are any little pieces lingering. And then you're just gonna pull this off from the side. Um, this might have had a little too much water in it, so it's kind of sticking to the side a little more than it usually would. And usually the blade comes right out with the dough. Um, just gonna kind of pull it apart. And then what I like to do is when I plop the dough into the bowl, I, well, first of all, kind of shape it into a ball. And then I like to um, kind of roll it in the oil. So the dough is all coated in the oil. So then you're gonna tightly wrap your bowl with your dough in it in cling wrap and either let that sit out on the counter for 45 minutes and it'll be ready to make pizza with and you're gonna bake it at 450 for 15 minutes about and you wanna check on it and see if it needs more. And um, so I actually cut this up and put some in some freezer bags to make um, next Friday and the Friday after that for the boys' um, pizzas for daycare on Friday. And uh, my personal opinion is that Rouse is the best um, sauce you can get at all the stores around here. I really like Carbone too, but I don't even know where to get that, maybe online. Um, and then Gaia is my favorite cheese to use. So, bon appetit!